Impala, Mustang, what is this? So this is a 50s era gas station that we uh, actually, our crew here on campus actually built it. Look at that. But it incorporates our metal working room, a paint booth, a prep room. Dude, this is so cool. A little bit more than a facade, but mostly a facade. It's, it's cool, man. Yeah. Makes you feel like coming in working. Yeah. You know? It does. It inspires you. I think I, I spend more time like developing my walls and stuff in between jobs. Like I'll clean and I'll go, okay, now let's move all that stuff around. And that constant like inspiration, stuff like this, you know, mm -hmm. like it makes stuff like that turn out better. Yeah. I like this. It's cool. So this is a tribute to Jessie Combs. She was graduated 2004 and prior to her accident, she was the fastest woman on earth. Yeah. Basically. Um, so we did this tribute to honor her because she was a graduate of, of Wyotech. And a stud superstar too. Superstar, oh, absolutely. 100%. Yeah, yeah, she was kind of like uh, my North Star. Like she's the one I looked at as an alumni to, you know, how to be. Mm -hmm. and we all miss Jesse. She was uh, actually inducted into our first Hall of Fame. That's yeah. good. So. Rightfully so. So again, we only have the one paint booth because what they most generally use this for, and you can see examples of it in there, but they're doing custom paintings to learn how to pen stripe and airbrush techniques. And now is this a comp or is this? It is a comp. This is a comp, okay, yep. that's cool. Yep, they have to do what's called a five panel, so it'll have different five different types of graphics on it they have to lay out with fine line. And like lace and, mm -hmm. that's cool. And then they'll prep the panel, they'll paint it, clear it, um, and they can take it home with them. That's awesome. Um, we also do a miniature roll pan, like you'd see on the back of a pickup that doesn't use a bumper, uh, with a license plate insert, and they can do custom paint on that with candy color. I still too. have mine, and it holds my business cards. Oh, it's my business card holder. Awesome. You know, I, I made mine hold my business card. Right on. That's smart. And then as we move down here, this is our metal room, so metal shaping room. We've got equipment that dates back to the 20s. And, um, so you're going to find planishing wow. hammers, Yoder power hammers. Um, there's a full set of sweeps up there for different contours and curves. Um, we make all of our own dies for body lines if you're custom making a repair panel for a vehicle. So just right off the bat, skip the, all these people that are worried about not being able to get parts and pieces and all these things. I don't have that problem. And you know why? Because I produce my own parts exactly. from the knowledge I got at Wyotech. Exactly. You know, some of this equipment you can't even purchase anymore because you can't find them. No, and the thing that was in my head when I first started was, why do I need to learn to use this thing? I'll never be able to afford it. But what is a truth in the industry is the people that own them, most of them don't know how to use it. They're looking for you to be a jockey for it. Yeah. You know, so you can be a hired gun. To c I've been a hired gun to come in and use a pull max so often, you know, and just because... I had to pull, use a pull max and street rod, you know? Sure. And the whole time I was doing it, I was like, I don't know why I am doing this, you know? <laughs> and then look back and it's like, that kept my lights on for half a year one time, Absolutely. you know? Just being able to be a jockey on something that I'll never be able to afford. Mm -hmm. So the opportunities that come from being around a piece of equipment like this, when would I ever be able to even touch it if I didn't come to Wyotech, you know? So and cool. now my brain is set up to where I could go anywhere that's got one. It's cool. It's pretty amazing. What this does is it'll take a thumb and turn it into a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> no, brother, what this is, is that what you're doing is you're taking a flat piece of steel and you're stretching a contour in it. So what you're doing is a piece of steel is just like anything in this world. If you squeeze it, it's going to come out the side just like toothpaste. And that's all you're pretty much doing here is this is a giant hydraulic thumb and you're squeezing that sheet metal out and trying to get toothpaste all on the outside of here, which brings a natural curve. And it'll bring more of a curve when you change your dies. You know, so that's something I learned, I don't know, 15 years ago at Wyotech. And I'm excited to oh, be here seeing it still going. Now, how many students end up coming in this room and getting obsessed enough to not want to leave it? A lot. Yeah. A lot. There's an addiction to taking a giant piece of machinery and making the most delicate little pieces that you usually have to get in a catalog and purchase Absolutely. that just give you a self-worth that I don't think I would have found anywhere else. You know, it's pretty cool. And, you know, to be honest for, you know, the home hobbyist that really doesn't have a huge selection of tools or be able to afford to buy things like this, 
You know, they're using a sandbag, they're using a mm -hmm. tree stump with a bowl cut out of it, and they're hammering in the rough outs, which is what you're going to see, looks like a ruffled potato chip around the edge, which is exactly what that Yoda power hammer is doing, is we're shrinking and stretching the metal all the way around to give a general shape, and then we can start smoothing from there. Um, so when you're talking production, you know, that could be something that, hey, we need 10 of these parts by the end of the day, are you going to sit there with a hammer or are you going to use a Yoder power hammer? So. Which in the industry is the only reason for the placement is if you have the you know, need for that many jobs and that many panels. And you're not going to go in every sheet metal hot rod shop and see these machines, but I have been in some and seen them. And when you talk to them, their timelines that they're on and the schedule they want to keep, it's easier to control their part sources than trust in whether it be the manufacturers to make it or the shippers to get it there in one piece, you know. Being able to have a skill set to use any of this stuff sure. makes you important in a lot of different buildings. Absolutely. Increasing your self-work. There's nothing better to invest in than your brains in your hands, man. Totally like that's it. And then you can see some of the custom paint projects on the wall. Some of these were students, some was instructors that have done these over the years. And that's something that can be used as like live hours on your, on your book too, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Dude, this right here is so cool.